welcome to my channel Nicola Yoga. My name is Nicola, so we are on day 14 of 33 Days of Yoga, our rock and roll series. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. So if you are and you haven't hit the subscribe button already, please do so now, it's just you. Maybe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today we are going to be working on weight control. So some of these poses stretch out the stomach and abdomen so that you release the need to eat so it actually helps you with hunger. So we are going to start in standing Tadasana. So grounding down through the feet, maybe stretching out the toes, planting the toes down, staying grounded, engage through the legs. Slight tuck in the pelvis, extend along in the spine, slight tuck in the chin, shoulders pull back and down. Spread out the hands like a starfish, and maybe flutter the eyes closed and come back to your intention. Coming into your sankalpa, your why, why you show up to your mat. Maybe if you don't have a sankalpa, just maybe being grateful for three things in your life. Feeling grounded in the soles of your feet and in your heels. The equal balance here. Breathe. Just allowing a few moments of silence while we settle in. And likely maybe flutter the eyes closed or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead. Breathe. Spread the arms wide, reach the hands up, Haspasana. Exhale as we dive in, like diving off a diving board as we reach the hands all the way down. Nod the head, chest, and shake the head, low. Inhale to a flat back. Micro bend the knees, extend the neck long, shoulders pull back and down, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release. So this time, if your hands are grounded against the earth, maybe take your hands so that your hands are underneath the toes, allowing your big toes to press into the thumb and just before the crease of the hips and massaging out here, so Parahastasana, and breathe, and then coming back to Uttanasana, inhale to flat back, exhale release, bend the knees deeply, coming all the way back up, to Hastasana, Hands face forwards, palms facing forwards, shoulders pull back and down, back into their sockets and breathe. And then slowly, mindfully diving in. Two Tanasana, breathe. Nod the head, chest. Shake the head low. Inhale to a flat back. Hands come underneath the knees. Shoulders fall back and down. Micro bend the knees. Extend the neck long. Breathe. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release. Again, if you have good flexibility here, bringing the hands underneath the toes and pressing the toes into the thumb mound. The base of the hands here, breathe. Pada has We're going to extend the neck long and breathe. And release the hands. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, release. And again, spread the arms out wide, coming all the way back up. Hastasana, reach the hands forwards. Shoulders pull back and down, breathe. And 
and then slowly dive in, like diving off the diving board. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Again, Pada Hastasana as you bring the hands underneath the feet. And again, pull the shoulders back and down, extend the neck long. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Plant the hands back down. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, release. And spread the arms out wide, coming all the way back up. Palms come together this time, a slight back bend. Exhale through heart center. And breathe. So I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see me. So, feet are mat distance apart, sorry, hip distance apart. We're going to step the right left leg back to a 45 degree position. Now, heel to arch alignment or wider for extra stability. Hips face forwards, nice bend in that front knee. You should be able to see your big toe. If not, you need to adjust your position. So ideally the thigh is level with the mat, but if you're not there, that's okay too. Engage between the front toe mount and the heel. You can either keep the hands at the hips, pulling the shoulders back and down, engage, grow tall in the spine, and reach the hands up overhead. Warrior one, breathe. So this stretch is out the stomach. So when I say stretching out the stomach, you think that would actually enlarge the stomach. No, what it actually does is it's squeezing the stomach so that you release that hunger pangs. Those hunger pangs. Breathe. And then from here, we're going to just reach forwards, coming to a 45 degree position. We're going to come up as we pivot on that back toe to face the back foot forwards. Slowly, slowly come up onto the toe, flex the foot, coming into warrior three. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fold in, Uttanasana. Inhale, curl up to a flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, so you bend the knees deeply, coming all the way up. Back to Hasasana, reach the hands forwards and breathe. And then float down. Again, inhale, flat back, Baddha Uttanasana. Exhale, release. Plant the hands down, set the right foot back this time. Again, here to arch alignment or wider for extra stability. Come up onto the fingertips, pull the shoulders back, and inhale as we reach the arms overhead. Warrior one on this side. Hips are facing forward, shoulders are back and down into their sockets. Hands reach up and breathe. Five, press here. Nice bend in that front knee. You should be able to see your big toe. And again, engage through the front toe mounds and the heels. Breathe. And then slowly as we reach forwards, hoping to come to almost like a 45 degree position to start. Pivot on the back foot. And then slowly bring that foot up. Flex the foot, coming into warrior three. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fold the foot in and fold all the way down to your tennis. Forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Well, don't forget to micro bend the knees, extend the neck long, shoulders pull back and down. Exhale, release. And then bending the knees deeply, spread the arms out wide, come all the way up. Pass first and then reach forwards. Breathe. And diving in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. And then from here, coming down to a ball squat. Hands come to heart center. 
And again, giving yourself a little toe stretch here. And breathe. try a bind, so bring the hand underneath the thigh, and then bringing the hands together, and breathe. So again, if this is too deep, listen to your body. And slowly come back. Uncross the legs, shake it out. Milo just wants to be heard today. And then from here, we're going to reach the hands along. Hashi Motanasana. And then reaching the hands behind you, about six inches back. Bend the knees to a 90 degree position. Inhale as we tuck the pelvis and start to lift the hips up. Come heavy in the heels. Oh. Reverse tabletop, or if you have you haven't got any neck or shoulder issues, you can allow the head to come back. Five breaths here. And then slowly come down. If there's any position that you need to do before coming into final shavasana, feel free to do so. We're just going to windshield wipe with the legs first. Long hands reach out in front, pull the shoulders back and down. 
and start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. And then bringing the shoulders away from the ears, arms come out to the sides, palms facing up and open to receive, coming into Shavasana. Relaxing the feet, allowing the feet to fall out to the sides and feel all the points of your body resting on the surface beneath you, feeling supported by Mother Earth. And a reminder that you have everything that you need in this moment. Three nice long deep breaths here. Brushing out your fingertips with your thumb, and maybe rotating the ankles one way, and then rotating the ankles the other way. Maybe rotating your wrists. Reach the arms overhead, give yourself a nice big long stretch on the inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Raise one arm overhead as you roll over onto your left side of your body. Resting with your head on your upper arm as the other hand sits in front of the heart. Take a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, pressing up with the hands, coming back to a nice, easy seated position at the front of your mat, whatever that is for you. So resting with your eyes closed or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead. Again, engage through the sit bones, grow tall in the spine. Nice open heart, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin, and a few breaths here. And slowly reach the hands up, palms facing up overhead, and exhale through heart center. Bringing the hands back to Anjali Nudra. Namaste. Chin. May the light surround you, support you, and encourage you on this journey. My spirit to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you everyone for sharing our practice today. I hope you enjoyed this flow. So Please hit the thumbs up button if you did and let me know in the comment section what you thought of this short flow for weight control. So I will be doing another one in this series for weight control which includes some of the other poses that I suggested in this practice. Um, so again, it's an honour to share with you on this journey. Please enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Namaste.